Hello, I'm Christian Pelletier from Portable Winch. Today I'm going to tell you about the PCW 3000 winch. The PCW 3000 winch is fitted with a GX35cc all position motor. This means that this winch can continuously operate it even when tilted from one side to the other without the engine stalling. Unlike a standard four stroke engine, this is a Honda four stroke engine. So when you buy the PCW 3000 winch, you need to know that obviously there's no oil in the base of the engine, so it's up to you to put the oil in. This model uses 100 milliliters of oil of 10W30. All you have to do is remove the cap from the reservoir tank, leveled on a horizontal surface to make sure you're putting in the right amount of oil, then insert the oil into the tank and tighten the cap. The specifications of PCW 3000 winch is a very light winch, weighing only 20 pounds, so it's the perfect winch, the ideal winch if you have to walk long distances, for example, a hunter who has to retrieve game from deep in the forest. And in terms of winching power, we have a winch that will give a pulling power of 1,500 pounds at a speed of 33 feet per minute. Now let's take a look at how it's used because it's important to know how to start our winch and how to use it. The first thing to know is that when you use the winch for the first time, so a new winch, you're going to start your motor and let it run at low speed for about five or six minutes, just to make sure it's working properly. Once that's done, you won't have to do this again for the other times you use it. However, if you haven't used it for a long time, it might be a good idea to go through the same process. So in terms of starting up, it's pretty straightforward. There's the switch which you turn to on. Don't forget because we often pull to start the winch and it won't start. It's often as simple as not having put the switch to on. This model here, we then have a little bubble that we press two or three times to make the fuel rise in the tube. And we also have a choke, so if you start it for the first time of the day, you'll need to put the choke on. Other times you won't have to. And then you just pull the cord. Make sure you pull in the same direction of the hole so as not to wear out the rope on the entry here. Often customers end up damaging their casing. That's because they are pulling in the wrong direction. Plus, it gives more resistance. It's as simple as that to get it started. Now let's take a look at how to use the PCW 3000 winch. When you buy the basic winch, it comes with a round sling to anchor the winch to an anchoring point. Obviously the anchor has to be heavier than the load that is being pulled. The idea is to take the sling and insert it into the first hook. Then you go around an acor point, like a tree for example, and insert it into the second hook. We want to make sure that when we use the winch, it can align itself with the load, i.e. move from left to right and from bottom to top. Because when we use the winch, it will lift off the ground so it's not touching the surface. Under tension, the winch will hover, and this is what enables it to be properly aligned with the load. So it's important not to make unnecessary loops around the anchor point with the sling to not unequally distribute. The load force on the hooks, we want to have the same force applied to both hooks on the gearbox. Once the winch is well anchored, it's time to insert the rope into the system. Some people ask, what is a capstan winch? Some already know what it is because it comes from the marine world. The beauty of a capstan winch is that, unlike a standard winch on which the rope accumulates and you're limited by a certain rope length, here, because the rope passes through the winch and out again, there's no limit to rope length. You can have three, four, or 500 feet and still have the same pulling power. So once we're set up, we insert the rope into the entry hook and under the tension rod. The tension rod installed on the winch keeps the rope closer to the gearbox. So on the first turn of the drum, this is its only use. It prevents the rope from tangling on the drum during use. After that, we make three or four turns on the drum. In the case of the PCW 3000, we use a 3 8 inch or 10 millimeter rope. So with this rope diameter, we can get up to four turns. 
which gives us maximum friction on the drum. Finally, we pass the rope through what we call the exit hook. Once we're set up, we move backwards and place ourselves. You can go up to three or four feet from the winch. What you want when you're pulling is to have the rope come out horizontally and not above the winch, because when you use the winch, it's going to want to move like that. So by applying tension, when the whole system is under tension by pulling, we keep everything very, very stable. Finally, we operate the throttle after starting the engine, of course. So we bring the power up to maximum and pull on the rope. What we want is to go to pull as fast as the speed of the drum. Sometimes customers say, I don't have all the friction on my drum. Well, that's partly because we don't pull at the same speed. So we create less friction on the drum, which means it can slip on occasion. Pulling at the same speed of the drum prevents this. When you finish pulling, you approach the winch slowly. Lower the throttle. Let the tension drop or take the tension off the rope and switch off the motor. As simple as that. So in conclusion, the PCW 3000 winch is the lightest in its class. It's the perfect winch, as I said, for covering long distances. At Portable Winch, you can buy it individually and purchase accessories separately. But we've also created the accessorized winches in which you'll find the essentials accessories to get the job done. We also have a video that explains what accessories are included in the accessorized winches and what each accessory is used for. If you have any questions, we're always happy to answer them. We invite you to contact us either by email, chat or phone. We'll get back to you and we're always here to assist you with any questions you may have. We thank you and wish you a good day.